Hi everyone, Peter here from Movement and Performance, and in this presentation we're going to be covering why sprinters point their toes up while they're running. So it's a common cue um, from track and field coaches or any coaches uh, teaching sprinting that you want to have your toes pointed up um, as you're driving your knee up or to dorsiflex your ankle. And we're going to explain why this is the case through this presentation and how it helps with the utilization of the stretch reflex in the Achilles tendon. So firstly, I'm going to be talking about what we mean. So this is the this is the um, cue we're talking about. Her in this example, this lady sprinting. Um, she has her basically toe pointed upwards instead of her foot lagging down like this. And now we're going to talk about why they um, they are taught to run this way. So firstly, we need to understand a little bit of the anatomy of the ankle and calf area. Um, so essentially we have these calf muscles, so we have the gastrocnemius, which is going to be the most superficial, and then if we cut away the gastrocnemius, underneath that is going to be the soleus, so they're basically the uh, major um, posterior calf muscles. And then we have this big thick tendon called the Achilles tendon, which basic, basically connects to those big muscles and then attaches here down at the heel. So if we point our foot up and our toes up, we basically, this that stretches this tendon. If we point our toes down, this makes the tendon more slack. So when we point our toes up, that movement is called dorsiflexion of the ankle. And what dorsiflexion does is, as I just mentioned, it stretches this Achilles tendon. So essentially what's happening when we have our toes pointed up, we, or we're dorsiflexing our ankle while we're running, we have that Achilles tendon um, on pre-stretch just before we contact the ground. So if we go back to this photo, she's about to strike the ground now with a pre-stretched Achilles tendon. And why is that important? That's what we're going to talk about in the next slide. So it's important when we talk about the stretch reflex. So because the Achilles tendon is such a long and thick tendon, it, it can actually store a lot of elastic energy. So if we have basically a rapid stretching of any tendons in the body, we get this, this reflex, which is thought to be more of a primal safety type reflex, where we get a contraction of the muscle in order to counter that stretching, especially if it happens at very rapid pace. So if that ankle is, um, if that Achilles tendon is pre-stretched as we're running, as soon as that foot strikes the ground, we're going to get a really rapid, fast, and powerful stretching of that Achilles tendon, which is going to cause quite a significant stretch reflex. So that, so those calf muscles are going to contract, and then we can therefore use the um, basically elastic properties of that Achilles tendon to help propel us forward. So basically, during both sprinting and in jumping, it allows us to use the stretch shortening cycle uh, more effectively. And this can also be during jumping, we can, um, the same uh, phenomenon takes place. So, if, for example, if we think of someone doing a drop jump, so they drop off a, um, some sort of uh, box or platform, and then if they have their ankles dorsiflex or their toes pointed up, as soon as they hit the ground, they're going to get that same response, and we're going to get probably a better utilization of the stretch shortening cycle because of that stretch reflex. So that's it for this quick presentation, guys. Thanks for watching. Hopefully uh, I clarified that topic. Um, I know I was confused about that. Um, so if you want to learn more, you can follow Movement and Performance on Facebook and on Instagram with the details here. If you haven't already, make sure you, you subscribe on YouTube to stay up to date with the latest informative videos that are posted. Um, again, on social media, so on Facebook and Instagram, you'll find these uh, research infographics, which is essentially going to be the latest research summarized into these easy to understand graphics. So that if you're a curious individual that's interested in learning more, you can stay up to date with the latest research in sports performance training. Thanks for watching guys, hopefully you got something out of it.